Have you ever felt like, life's doors are closing all around you, leaving you lost and uncertain about the future? Maybe you've experienced rejection from a job, a relationship, or a dream you've been chasing. Perhaps you're standing at a crossroads, wondering which path to take next, feeling overwhelmed by the weight of indecision. Whatever your circumstances, know that you're not alone. Many of us have faced closed doors, moments when it feels like the universe is conspiring against us. But what if I told you that behind every closed door lies an opportunity, a chance for something better to come your way? Welcome, dear friend. Today's message is for you. For anyone who's ever faced closed doors, for anyone who's ever felt the sting of disappointment or the weight of uncertainty. But let me assure you, there's hope. There's a guiding light in the midst of darkness, and it's leading you to something better. I will also share a heartfelt prayer at the end of this video, so keep watching. Faith in Divine Guidance In moments of despair, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. But remember, Every closed door is not a denial, it's a redirection. It's a sign that there's a better path awaiting you, one that's been carefully crafted by a loving and omniscient creator. When we talk about faith and divine guidance, we're talking about believing in something greater than ourselves. It's about trusting that there's a purpose behind every closed door, even when we can't see it at the moment. It's like walking through a dark tunnel, we may not see the light yet, but we trust that it's there, guiding us towards safety. Think about it this way. Just as a loving parent knows what's best for their child, our Creator knows what's best for us. He sees the bigger picture, the intricate tapestry of our lives, where each closed door plays a crucial role in shaping our destiny. Sometimes, we may not understand why certain doors close. It can be frustrating, even heartbreaking at times. But in those moments, it's essential to hold on to our faith, to trust that God's plan is unfolding exactly as it should. One of the most beautiful aspects of faith is that it's not based on what we can see or understand with our human minds. It's a deep, unwavering trust in the unseen, a belief that God is working behind the scenes orchestrating every detail of our lives with love and wisdom. So, when you find yourself facing a closed door, instead of dwelling on the disappointment, choose to trust. Trust that God is leading you towards something better, something beyond your wildest dreams. Trust that He has a purpose for your pain and a plan for your future. In the words of Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Hold on to that promise, dear friend. Keep the faith, for your journey is guided by the hand of the One, who created the stars and knows each one by name. Acceptance of Change Change is like the wind, sometimes gentle, sometimes fierce, but always present. It's natural to feel apprehensive when faced with unexpected shifts in our lives, but it's important to remember that change is not the enemy, it's the catalyst for growth. Think of a seed planted in the earth. In order for it to sprout and blossom into a beautiful flower, it must undergo a process of transformation. Similarly, when God closes a door in your life, He's preparing you for a new season of growth and renewal. It's okay to mourn the loss of what was, but don't linger in the past too long. Embrace the uncertainty of the present with open arms, for within every closed door lies the promise of new beginnings. Change allows us to break free from the confines of our comfort zones and discover untapped potential within ourselves. It challenges us to adapt, to evolve, and to emerge stronger than we were before. When faced with change, take a moment to pause and reflect. What opportunities lie beyond the closed door? What lessons can be learned from this season of transition? Trust that God's plan is unfolding exactly as it should, and have faith that He's leading you 
towards something greater than you could ever imagine. Remember, dear friend, change is not a setback. It's a setup for something extraordinary. Embrace it with courage and conviction, for within the chaos of change lies the beauty of new beginnings. Optimism and Hope In the depths of despair, it's natural to feel like you're drowning in a sea of uncertainty. But even in the darkest moments, there is a glimmer of hope shining through. Optimism is like a beacon, cutting through the fog of despair and illuminating the path forward. Hope is not just wishful thinking, it's a powerful force that propels us forward even when all seems lost. It's the belief that no matter how dire our circumstances may seem, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. It's the assurance that better days are ahead, waiting just beyond the horizon. In times of adversity, cultivating optimism and nurturing hope is essential for maintaining resilience and perseverance. It's about training our minds to focus on the possibilities rather than the obstacles, to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable barriers. Optimism and hope go hand in hand, feeding off each other to create a sense of boundless possibility. When we approach life with optimism, we open ourselves up to a world of endless potential. We begin to see setbacks not as failures, but as stepping stones on the path to success. We become more resilient in the face of adversity, bouncing back stronger and more determined than ever before. But optimism isn't just about wearing rose-colored glasses or ignoring the harsh realities of life. It's about acknowledging the challenges we face while maintaining faith in our ability to overcome them. It's about finding the silver lining in every cloud, no matter how faint it may seem. Hope, too, is a powerful force in its own right. It's the anchor that keeps us grounded when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm us. It's the light that guides us through the darkness, leading us towards a brighter tomorrow. Together, optimism and hope form the foundation of our resilience, giving us the strength to weather life's storms and emerge stronger on the other side. So, even when the world seems bleak and the future uncertain, hold on to optimism and cling to hope. Learning from Adversity Adversity has a unique way of shaping us, molding us into stronger, wiser versions of ourselves. When faced with closed doors, it's not just about moving forward, it's about looking inward and uncovering the hidden treasures buried within the challenges we face. Think back to a time when a door closed in your life. Perhaps it was a job loss, a failed relationship, or a missed opportunity. In the moment, it may have felt like the end of the world, but in hindsight, it was a pivotal moment of growth. Adversity teaches us resilience. It shows us that we're capable of enduring more than we ever imagined. Like a tree weathering a storm, our roots dig deeper, anchoring us firmly in the ground. With each trial we overcome, we emerge stronger, more resilient, more capable of facing whatever lies ahead. But adversity also teaches us humility. It reminds us that we're not invincible, that we're human, prone to mistakes and missteps. It humbles us, softening our hearts and opening our minds to the lessons waiting to be learned. And perhaps most importantly, adversity teaches us empathy. As we navigate our own struggles, we become more attuned to the struggles of others. We learn to extend a hand of compassion, a word of encouragement, knowing that we're all in this journey together. So, the next time a door closes in your life, don't despair. Instead, embrace the opportunity to learn, to grow, to become the person you were always meant to be. For within every closed door lies the seed of possibility waiting to take root and blossom into something beautiful. Keep faith, dear friend, and remember that when God closes a door, He's leading you to a better one. Trust in His plan 
for he knows the way even when we cannot see it ourselves. And in the end, you'll emerge from the darkness stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. Trusting the process. Trusting the process can be challenging, especially when we're faced with uncertainty and doubt. But remember, every closed door is a part of a larger tapestry being woven together by the hands of a loving creator. Just as a gardener tends to their garden with care and patience, so too does God nurture and guide us along our journey. Sometimes, it's hard to see the bigger picture when we're in the midst of adversity. We may question why certain doors have closed or why our plans seem to be falling apart. But trust that there's a purpose behind every closed door, even if it's not immediately clear to us. Like pieces of a puzzle, each closed door fits into the grand design of our lives, leading us ever closer to our destiny. When we trust the process, we surrender our need for control and allow ourselves to be guided by a higher power. We relinquish our grip on the steering wheel and instead place our faith in the hands of the one who knows the way. It's a leap of faith, a step into the unknown, but it's also an act of profound trust and surrender. Trusting the process doesn't mean passively waiting for things to happen. It means actively participating in our own growth and transformation. It means taking each closed door as an opportunity to learn, to adapt, and to evolve into the person we're meant to be. It's about embracing the journey with all its twists and turns, knowing that each step brings us closer to our destination. And when doubts creep in, when fear threatens to overwhelm us, remember the promise of Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. With my righteous right hand. With God by our side, we can trust that the path ahead is filled with purpose and possibility. So, dear friend, as you navigate through life's uncertainties, hold fast to your faith and trust in the process. Know that every closed door is leading you to a better one and that the journey itself is worth embracing. Keep moving forward with courage and conviction, for the best is yet to come. Seeking Support You are not alone in your journey. Seeking support during difficult times is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your strength and resilience. It takes courage to reach out and ask for help, but know that there are people who care about you and want to see you thrive. Your faith community can be a source of comfort and guidance during trying times. Whether it's through prayer, fellowship, or wise counsel, lean on your spiritual family for support. Together, you can find solace in shared beliefs and uplift one another with words of encouragement. Friends and family are also invaluable allies on your journey. Open up to them about your struggles, fears, and doubts. Let them walk alongside you, offering their love, understanding, and support every step of the way. Their presence can provide a sense of belonging and remind you that you are never truly alone. In addition to your immediate circle, consider seeking professional help if needed. Therapists, counselors, and support groups can offer valuable insights and tools for coping with challenges. They can provide a safe space for you to explore your emotions, develop coping strategies, and work towards healing and growth. Remember, seeking support is not a one-time effort, but an ongoing practice of self-care and nurturing relationships. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you, and be willing to reciprocate that support in return. Together, we can weather any storm and emerge stronger than ever before. As we draw near to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with a powerful prayer. Let this prayer be a beacon of hope, a reminder of the unwavering love and guidance that surrounds you even in the darkest of times. Dear Heavenly Father, in this moment of prayer, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your guidance, 
your comfort, and your unwavering love. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and in your hands, all things are possible. Lord, we lift up our struggles and our uncertainties to you. We confess that sometimes it's hard to see beyond the closed doors in our lives. We feel lost, alone, and unsure of what lies ahead. But in the midst of our doubt, we choose to trust in your divine plan. We trust that when you close a door, you are leading us to something better, something beyond our wildest dreams. Help us, Lord, to accept the changes that come our way, with grace and humility. Give us the strength to let go of what was and embrace what will be. Remind us that every closed door is not a rejection but a redirection, guiding us along the path you have laid out for us. Fill our hearts with optimism and hope, even in the darkest of times. Help us to see the light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that you are always with us, guiding us, and leading us forward. May your hope be our anchor, our refuge, and our strength. Teach us, Lord, to learn from adversity, to glean wisdom from every trial and tribulation we face. Show us the lessons hidden within the closed doors of our past and help us to emerge from them stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. As we navigate the twists and turns of life's journey, help us to trust in your perfect timing. Give us the patience to wait for the doors you are preparing to open, knowing that your timing is always impeccable. Help us to surrender our fears and doubts to you, trusting that you will never lead us astray. Lord, we thank you for the support of our faith community, for the friends and family who walk beside us on this journey. Give us the courage to lean on one another, to offer support and encouragement, and to be a beacon of hope to those in need. In closing, Lord, we offer up this prayer as a testament to our faith, our trust, and our hope in you. May it be a reminder that even in the darkest of times, you are always there, guiding us, protecting us, and leading us to a better tomorrow. In your holy and precious name, we pray, Amen. If this message resonated with you, I encourage you to comment below, subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content, and share this message with others who may need to hear it. Together, let's spread hope and inspiration to every corner of the world. Remember, dear friend, when God closes a door, trust that He's leading you to a better one. Keep faith, stay strong, and never lose hope. In the Bible, in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So, even when it feels like the world is against you, know that God has a plan for your life, a plan filled with hope, joy, and purpose. But remember, it's okay to feel overwhelmed sometimes. It's okay to cry out in frustration or confusion. God understands our human emotions, and He's always there to comfort us in our times of need. So, don't be afraid to pour out your heart to Him in prayer. He's listening, and He cares deeply about you. As you go forth from this message, carry with you the assurance that you are never alone. God is walking beside you, every step of the way, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you unconditionally. So, hold fast to your faith, for in Him, you will find strength to overcome any obstacle and courage to face any challenge. And remember, dear friend, that closed doors are not the end of your story, but merely the beginning of a new chapter. So, step forward with confidence, knowing that God's plans for you are good and His love for you is everlasting. Until we meet again, may you walk in the light of His love, knowing that He is always by your side. Amen.